this was inspired by Barb. Oh, I can't think of it. Barb Olson. I'll link her below, but um, she has classes that you can sign up for, and um, she had a video on tutorial on doing the Coptic stitch, and this was my first go at it, and I absolutely love it. I loved doing it. It was so much fun and so easy. I was so nervous to try it. That's why I didn't try it before, but um, I'm so glad I did. I love it. I'm going to make a bunch more of them, and... This one is made out of all, uh, like, art paper, like watercolor paper or mixed media paper. It's all nice, um, thick quality paper because I wanted it to be an art journal. But I used regular book covers, nice thick covers for, um, these covers. And then I just redid them. I went over them. This is like a gray card stock that I did on the base layer and then I put some this pretty I don't remember what paper it is but it's nice thick cardstock and then this came from I'll put it on screen I should have had all this ready but I didn't think about it this I have some metal book corners I have some washi tapes I have some trim and this flower piece Tim Holtz piece more trim some vintage stamps, some chit chat stickers, more washi, Tim Holtz washi, Tim Holtz washi behind them, stamps, and yeah, I love how it turned out. Very vintage looking, I just love it. So yeah, this I made from Barb's video, and um, yeah, I made a I don't remember if she had hers as a uh, art journal, but um, that's what I wanted to make mine. And I did different paper throughout, like I said. I have, um, hang on a second. I have some nice thick uh, mixed media paper. This one with the... Um, edges punched. I kept that at the top. I left the edges on just so it would uh, match the rest of the pages and be long enough. So that's the mixed media paper. And then I have regular watercolor paper. Uh, another kind of mixed media paper. And then yeah, I have uh, the Strathmore Mixed Media Paper and then the Visual Journal Mixed Media Paper. And then I also have some black, um, this is from the Creative Journal, black cardstock that I put in here as well. And I think that's it. It was just them kinds of paper. But the signatures, this one, I think they're all the same, but one, two, three, three pages, one, two, three, yeah, they're all three pages long. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine signatures. So nine signatures total, three pages each. And yeah, I think it worked out perfect um, of how I did the mix of paper in it. And look at how beautiful it is. I love it. So um, yeah, it has the mixture of the paper. And that way I can just pick a page and do it whatever I'm feeling like doing that day. But um, yeah, I love how it turned out. In the middle, um, I have these punched out, this punched out star that's embossed and this punched out butterfly that I um, put one in front and one on back and put the embroidery floss is what I used for um, binding them. I just put the piece through the middle and then so it's like a little charm on there. Same with the star on top. 
So yeah, this is my first Coptic stitch journal. And you can do this with any kind of paper, whatever you want to make. So I want to make a junk journal like this too. This one is just going to be my art journal. One of my art journals. I got so many art journals going right now. That's why I haven't... I made this a while ago. Like after Christmas, I think. And just haven't started it. I wanted to show it off too first. But I have so many other books going right now. Art journals. That uh, I don't need another one at this moment. But this is ready to go when I feel... I, don't, I might use this for one of my... Uh, art journaling classes that I'm taking. I'm taking Wonderlust and uh, Lifebook. But uh, I started it and started doing some of the uh, classes and uh, other regular art journal books. But, yeah. I might just do some pages in here, too. But I wanted to share it with everybody. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. If you've ever made one or um, what. But I was very proud of myself for doing it. I got the hang of it right away. It was easy to do. But that's pretty much the gist of it. I don't need to flip through every blank page. But you get it. It's pretty much the same thing throughout. But yeah. My first Coptic stitch. And um, what's cool about the Coptic stitch and uh, the journaling this way I just put like a blank head. these are Martha Stewart label stickers um, as they lay flat whatever page you're on it lays flat open doesn't matter where in the book you are it's flat and I love that and it's perfect for art journaling so that's why I wanted to make an art journal um, with that uh, kind of binding and then last but not least is um, this is also inspired by Jenny Belly. Uh, it's gluing the edges of your paper pages with scraps. And this is going to be a glue book. And I did the whole thing. So this book was um, a re or is a Reader's Digest Select Edition. Yeah, but it was a pretty thick book. I went through and did um, every three pages or whatever it is, rip out so many pages. Um, yeah, I went through and took out a bunch of pa pages. If you can see the binding where it's missing evenly throughout, but it's um, it laid way flatter than this, obviously, as flat as the binding was. But gluing all that in there made it alligator mouth. And I might have to go through and take another chunk out because once I um, start gluing stuff in it's gonna wreck the binding so I might just leave it and once it gets too bad um, rebind it or take some paper out and just make another book out of the pages I take out so either way it work but um yeah I'll link her video Jenna Jenna Belly's video below but, um, yeah, I thought it was an awesome idea, and I loved the way that it made the pages look. Ain't that awesome? Just beautiful color. Look at that. So pretty. So, yeah, um, all I did was take, I had a bunch of skinny straps. I had a bunch of skinny scraps and a bunch of little scraps, and I just went through, and no matter what the sizes or shapes, I cut some down to make them smaller, but... This first page, I have a leftover punch piece, punched piece. Oh, I did a page in here when I first completed it. I went ahead and did a page, but yeah, this is what I want to use it for. It's just a glue butt to glue images and stuff that I like and just to keep to be able to look at and be inspired by. So that's what I want to do with this, but that's the first page I had had done already, and yeah, it was Happy New Year, that's when I did it, beginning of the year. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just went through and glued scraps down, I used a glue stick, and I some of them I might have to go back over, but um, like if some pieces are sticking up, whatever, but... Yeah, it's just different sizes all the way through. I'm not going to flip all the way through. I'll show you the gist of it. But, yeah. 
some pages they go way far in, other pages they don't. Like this one goes almost to the middle of the page. Other piece pages don't go that far in at all. Or they're a mix. But yeah, very cool idea. Go check her video out. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of work, but it was fun. <laughs> but I had to do it all at, you know, at one time. I did it all in one night. So it was a lot of work, but I had to get it done. Once I started doing it, I wanted to, didn't want to stop until it was done. Because I wanted to see the outcome. But I love it. Awesome idea. So them are my journals. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think below. And yeah, my next video uh, was supposed to be the giveaway video, but I haven't figured out what I'm giving away yet. So now that I'm at 100 subscribers, it's giveaway time. If you have an idea of what you'd like to um, has, have as the giveaway prize, let me know. I have... Um, couple ideas if you want me to make a new junk journal for you if you want one of the junk journals I already have I could show what I have and um or I have uh art journaling supplies junk journaling supplies I could do a supply giveaway uh just let me know all right thanks guys love you have a good day bye